Bible puts it like this. It says, the wages of sin is death. So when you work, you, you, you work, you work, you work, you do 40 hours a week, you get a wage. And the Bible says the wage of sin is death. So you've been working all of these sins that you've committed in your life. The reason we die is because we sin. So you've been sinning all of your life. Okay, here's your wage. It's death. Well, the Bible says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. A word called repentance, which means to change. You're going in this direction and you turn 180 degrees and you walk in another direction. You go in this way, you're going away from God, all your life living for yourself, but this year, why not follow after God and put your trust in Jesus Christ? We're all gonna die one day. We all, none of us are promised tomorrow, so it makes perfect sense to put your trust in the one who's risen from the dead. Who's that? That's Jesus, he's risen from the dead because he loves us, he died on a cross for us. He died there for your sins. He was punished for your iniquities, for all the wrong things you've done. Jesus died there, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. Now, can I say something to you, friends? I don't want to upset anyone. I'm going to say something a bit controversial. But you know what the big problem with most people in Ormskirk is? You think you're good people. Here we go. Maybe that's going to offend people. But the big problem with most people in Ormskirk is they think they're good people. You think, I don't need to listen to the Christian street preacher. I don't need to go to church. I don't need to read it. I don't need to follow God. I, I've got it all sorted out. I'm a good person. If there is a heaven, if there is a God, I'm a good person and I'm going there. God will let me in because I'm a good person. But did I, do you know this, friends? It's not about a, ways, a weighing scale, okay? It's not about you do this amount of good and this amount of bad and God sees you good over your bad and then you're weighed up and you go to heaven. It doesn't work like that. God's standard is perfection. And let me say this, you might think you're good, but when the pan boils over, that shows what you're really like. And what happens if the pan boils over every single day and you're like, I wonder now, is there anyone going by who's had a hard year? 2019 was a hard year. I had a hard year in 2019. I moved into a house with asbestos in, and I thought I was a good guy, I thought I had it all sorted out, but you know what, I found out what was right in the core of me, and it's badness. You and I were bad to the core. You might think we look good, we might look good on the outside, but we're bad to the core, and that's why we need Jesus, the only one to never tell a lie, the only one never to steal anything, the only one to have pure lips, the only one to never look on a woman lustfully. This God-man Jesus was perfect, and on a cross, he died for you. He was the perfect sacrifice. So if you put your trust in Jesus Christ, the worst of you, the worst things you've ever done, those lies, those hurtful things you've done, the worst of you was laid on Jesus. And if you put your trust in him, the best of Jesus Christ can be given to you. So you can wear Jesus' perfect garment of pure righteousness and it can be yours for free as a gift. I don't know what the best gift was you got this Christmas. I don't know what you're excited about, but I'll tell you, there's a better gift than any gift you can be given, and it's the gift of eternal life. Do you have it? Do you know that you've got eternal life? Have you put your trust in Jesus Christ, the one who rose to the dead, the one who can give you the promise of heaven? Not for being good, because no good person gets to heaven. It's forgiven people. But here's the big question. Will you do it? Will you admit, will you humble yourself, will you get on your knees and admit you've done wrong before a holy creator God? Or will you say, I'm okay? There's not enough evidence. I don't believe in God, you know. Why, why do you believe in God? There's so many wars, there's so much suffering. You know, where did it all come from? Why, why believe in God? No, you need to come to the cross and realize you're a sinner. God loves you. He bled and died on a cross and he wants anyone who comes. He's all inclusive, he's not exclusive, he lets everyone in. Anyone who'll come, he'll let you in. Black, white, Asian, big, small, whoever you are, whatever you've done, Jesus loves you all and he wants you to come into a relationship with you. I'll offer anyone who's not too ashamed to take a, a portion of the Bible from a, a ginger street preacher's hand if you can get it out of the pocket. If you want to take one, uh, just go and take it from my hand. God bless you all, thank you for listening.